Hey guys, this is Johnny D T V here. And uh, I know it's been a while since I did videos on, you know, um ninety eight, XP and seven. I did interactions with them. Today I'm gonna do a special one for Windows two thousand or Windows two thousand service pack four. Um yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is not touch that. This seems to mess it up. Let's see, Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 display. Might as well just give it the full CPU memory. <laughs> okay, oops. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get this started. <laughs> Let me just put this in scale mode just to, you know, for the sake of your sanity. I press, I don't remember if it was F5 or F7, so I spam them both. Put it on standard PC and it'll actually install. <laughs> Starting window setup is starting Windows 2000. Put this up here a little bit. This may take a minute, so yeah. <laughs> and um, speaking of you know old operating systems, today, August 24th of 2021, Windows XP is officially 20 years old. Yeah, <laughs> pretty interesting. And it's formatting, so let's get this, give it a try. <laughs> and you guys are in for a treat because, uh, I'll show you. I'll also kind of, well, this is virtual box, but VMware, you can't, you know, really do what I did here, kind of put it in scale. No, I don't think you can, but on virtual box, you can. I don't know about VMware, so. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, let's get it right started. <laughs> uh, on this uh, on this particular CD or ISO, Service Pack Four Windows Two Thousand Professionals Service Pack Four, um, it doesn't ask for a product key. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Windows 2000 professional setup. And this is also the same from Windows XP Home Edition. If you were just to boot off the CD and not boot, or you know, it'll actually look a lot like this. And uh, it's oddly the same. Windows, I mean, React OS is another operating system. It's an open source operating system that's built from the ground up. It's supposed to be it's uh, binary compatible with Windows. So that might be another video topic. But I'm just saying I might make a video on that after this. Maybe in the future. Let me start my pooter. <laughs> I'm not going to press any key because I just did the setup. Starting Windows. And there it is. Windows 2000. Built on NT technology. <sighs> First off. After I get, you know, the proper display drivers installed, install a new version of Internet Explorer, and get another browser off of that, and kind of do some tests, you know. This is the Windows 2000 setup, if you, if you haven't seen it before, or if you're someone like me who likes, you know, old operating systems. Yeah. React OS, 
actually started back in I think 1995 or 96 and it was called free win at the time but sometime in 2000 I mean not 2000 in 1996 it's been uh, going as react OS so it's an op open source operating system that only requires 96 megs of RAM and like well I think not even uh, 500 megs of your hard drive space, so <laughs> pretty small, light. I think it might be a bit more lightweight than Windows 2000. I don't know, but yeah. Uni, it's a but it only React OS only supports a Uni processor, so. <clears throat> but React OS does support more RAM. Actually, yeah. Don't actually. I don't think you can take more than three or four gigs. Might as well hang on a sec. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm good. I had to check my GPU temperature, <laughs> but this is recording, so if it's if it was streaming, it would be a bit harder than it is. So. I forgot I had this on Power Saver. So this may be going a bit slower than it should. There we go. That's my Windows 10 computer. And this is my Windows 2000, you know, um, virtual machine that you can see here. <coughs> so yeah. This, during this time you scream may flicker for a few seconds. So if you have epilepsy or, you know, things like that, you may want to look away. But if you're one of someone that just goes to hell with it, YOLO, if you want, look, I don't care, I don't know. Actually, I do care. <laughs> Windows 2000, for personal setup, service pack 4. Beautiful. Beautiful setup. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this is going to take a while, so... I only gave this 512 megs of RAM, so it's gonna be lightweight. I heard Windows 2000 is more lightweight than Windows XP, but yeah, but it gets the job done nonetheless. Yeah, that's what Windows 2000 would actually do, so. <sighs> My next video would actually be about React OS, so you might want to stick around for that, because that would be an interesting video, I would say. And you can actually run, well, React OS is a bit finicky. If you run drivers from Windows, it would actually come up with this warning after you start it up, after you've done installation and all that. It'll actually come up with the prompt stating, uh, found new driver for a certain device or whatever. It gives you a warning stating if you, uh, installing this driver may render your, uh, operating system on, it may freeze it or render it unbootable. So, yeah. <laughs> Make sure there's actual sound from my microphone. Yes, there is. And I'm defragging my uh, D drive. And yeah, it's going a bit slow, but it'll, I guess, do. 
but this should be fine. It is. I put it on my E drive for the time being. And I think it's either my D or the E drive. That's the Windows Vista hard drive. And it's been running ever since. Speaking of hard drives, I also have another one that I bought from Amazon. It's an external one, but it's huge. It has its own power supply. And it's USB 3.0, but... I've had it for about two years. Actually, it'll be about three years. And I believe sometime in, sometime in November. I think November 1st was when it was delivered, maybe. It was shortly before my parents divorced, so... Yeah, almost three years, so, so far it's been working good, so I think it's a good hard drive. I don't know. Maybe, but I don't want to jinx it, but I have a bunch of movies on there, but I'm not going to say anything else. Setup is copying files. I love Windows 2000. I love their logo. Looks more like a 16 uh, bit color. 16 color. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> is also coming up so um I believe it's uh next Friday I believe yep next Friday is my birthday <clears throat> I'll be turning 23 I think 23 that's a bad sign if I forgot my own age. Yeah, I'm, I'll be 23. My brain damage may be progressing, or it could just be my brain rewiring around. I don't know, but I, th I think it's kind of cool how it rewires itself for it to survive. Your, But I also learned your body does whatever it does in order to survive longest, as long as it's as long as possible it's interesting how it does all these unique things to be able to survive so <laughs> knocking on my desk knocking on my desktop because I have nothing else to do no money for this thing to set up so I can finish. And it's taking a while, so. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, it's freezing up on me. Oh, wait, I forgot. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. After I get the proper video drivers installed, it would not do that interlace. You know, you can slowly see the line going from t bottom to top kind of like how it did in dial up days <laughs> except if it been going straight up and down it went from side to side pixel by pixel when it was dial up I remember it was so long ago the nostalgia is high but when we had dial up we had Windows XP I think it was home edition though but I don't remember it was a while back This is taking a while, so this is built on NT technology. Um, React, speaking of you know NT technology, React OS is actually supports operating systems, you know Windows 2003 and later versions of Windows. So um, there is a I've been testing out nightly builds 
And um, every so often there would be a new item in there. It would look very different, but it would be pretty cool to me that I actually got it to run and all that. Yeah. <sighs> One of these days, I'll uh, see if I can get a tripod or at least you know at least some external camera where I don't use my phone to do close-up stuff. Maybe I should get a camera, put it on a tripod behind me or whatever, or in front of me doing some kind of interesting things uh, with computers or whatever kind of like how Draga one does all that stuff <laughs> this is gonna take a while so oh there it is it just finished we start now yeah I'm not going to press any key because I just got done with that. Yeah. That's Windows 2000 right there for you. Yeah. Windows 2000. Yeah. Windows 2000. I think Windows 2000 was also released on August 24th of 2000 as well. That's the Windows 2000 startup sound. But it's, I believe, 21 years old. Almost as old as I am, but about a couple years younger than me. But it's almost as, actually, it's as old as my youngest sister. My younger sister, actually. Right now it's doing all the files and stuff for Service Pack 4. Um, as you saw in the setup, there was no product to keep required, so... I guess, I don't know what it was intended for, but... I, th I heard it was an unofficial Service Pack 5 for Windows 2000. And there's either... A, a, what was it? I know there's an unofficial Service Pack for Windows XP as well. I don't know if it was Service Pack 4 or 5. Maybe it was 5. Uh, it might have to remind me. <sighs> and now it's doing all the files and network, and net frame, frameworks. Installing or extracting them. Configuring them as well. Okay. Net Frameworks 2.0 Service Pack 2. <laughs> Optimizing Runtime Assemblies. Net .NET Runtime Optimization <laughs> DirectX 9 I'm just wondering DX Setup EXE Client Huh? SD1 SP1 External Command Operable Programmer Batch File I think there may be one more thing it has to do. Right now it's that. Uh, so I could shrink this a little bit to fit the screen. There we go. 
There we go. Come on, I know you could do it. You've done it before. I don't know what that's there for. <sighs> oh, there we go. Finally, some other thing came up. Finally. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Backing your files, finishing installation, performing cleanup. There has to do one more thing. We just finish. We might as well. I might have to uh, configure the sounds after it's done installing everything. So you'll be able to hear the actual startup, shutdown sounds, and all that. Two thousand professional built on MT technology. You know, it's just starting up. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it has to do one more restart. do one more restart actually but um oops before it does that no I wanted to uh, okay yeah control panel there's no display drivers installed I can show you that later after it's done doing everything yep yeah I could it's actually obvious Exit Windows, and I have to have this set to Windows Log Off. Yeah. And where's empty recycle bin? There it is. There we go. Apply, then hit OK. Now we're going to have to let it finish all that other stuff. <sighs> all right. Updating now. <clears throat> Oh yeah, before it restarts, actually I'm going to show you that later. 1 p.m. I like how the clock is so big. Eastern time. No, I don't think it's even, yeah it's 1 o'clock, never mind. Yep, it's doing all the other stuff. Yep, it has to do all this updating your system, you know, installing other files and other important stuff for Service Pack 4 to work properly. <laughs> Eh, whatever. It's probably the uh, system shutting down. It actually is going to restart. Save all work in progress and log off. Any unsaved changes will be lost. The shutdown was initiated by Windows 2000 or Win slash Win 2K. Same thing. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, 
right, this is the last one. This is going, I think that's done with all the restarts and installation. So now it's time to get the guest editions, uh, guest edition, you know, CD inserted on this thing. throws up on me, but it's, uh, I guess, you know, normal. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe that was a bad idea. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to do devices. Insert guest edition CD image. And I'm going to... Just hold on for a few more seconds, please. There we go. Yep, here it is. I didn't actually, I guess it did that automatically. Next, install. See, there's no display drivers, it just looks all, you know, 16 colors. And, yeah, there's no more uh, 800 by 600 or. 640 by 480. There's only 16 colors. After it installs the video driver, you'll notice the actual difference in how everything looks. And of course, you know this. And Internet Explorer would look different. All that other stuff. We're going to go here. What was it? Network, local area network, or LAN, show icon, and there we go. <laughs> it's 104 p.m. for now. you had to hear that ding or I don't know if you heard that or not I had to turn down my ceiling fan speed it kind of wobbles a bit yep there it is video it's the only video driver Access and defaults. I've never seen that there before. <laughs> disk defragments or disk cleanup. Character map. Huh. That's interesting. Did it install the video driver yet? Nope. Let's see. Task manager. Everything looks so huge. It's easier to see. <laughs> it's gonna take in a minute or so, but it's installing drivers. Oh, there it is. I think it just installed it. Yeah, it just did it and installed it. <laughs> And watch this. See? Now Internet Explorer doesn't look like how it did. 
<laughs> and then I'm gonna put this twelve eighty by ten twenty four. Yes, or whatever. And it has to restu right? restart. Now we're switching into full screen mode. This is leave it like this for like a second. <laughs> This may take another few seconds, or maybe up to a minute, maybe. <sighs> uh, of course, but that's pretty good, I would say. It's actually full screen and all of that. So that's Windows 2000 installation, and uh, you saw how it looked before. Now it's just connected to the internet now, and install another browser. No, finished. Mm -hmm. Properties, advanced. Connections. I always have that one turned on. It helps me get to other sites a bit better. <laughs> you saw how this looked. See, now it doesn't have that animation when you right click or press start. So now everything looks like how it should. I'm going to go to. Uh, go into this website here. It has all the archives of old software, including Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, you know, all those other browsers and everything else. What Internet Explorer is this one? 6.0. I'm going to get a different browser. I'm going to get, uh, SeaMonkey. I'm not going to get Netscape. No point fourteen, but I need something a little bit later than that. Something from two thousand twelve may do the job. That's not two thousand twelve. That's January. I guess look at this one. Windows ninety five or ninety eight two thousand or ME. Ah. <sighs> I'm just gonna click here. I'm a little impatient here because I'm recording. <laughs> See? It's downloading. I don't know what that is, but I think it's just something that it just. I don't know. Let's change backgrounds actually. Windows 2000. There we go. Close. Alright, I won't be able to open it until I change this from PHP to EXE. Yeah, there we go. Next, I accept the terms. Uh, maybe I don't want to read it. I'm going to close out of this old browser. I launch SeaMonkey now. And delete the installer. Don't perform it all the time. Empty. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is old-ish, but <clears throat> what I was going to do is do a speed test. Maybe if it'll support it. Maybe it might not. I don't know. It seems like it is. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to click on Task Manager. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. It looks, so this is Windows 2000. If you used Windows XP before, set it to the classic theme, it would look 
pretty much like this. Does this have an appearance tab? Oh, it does. Switch it to that to see. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty much like that. <laughs> CPU is at a hundred percent. I think it's be I think it's because I'm using this, but. Phew. I'm trying to go to YouTube on this thing actually. This may take a lot longer. I want to finish this up, sort of. See if I can get YouTube, or at least some parts of it loaded up. Oops. And this is pretty much what it would look like. Yeah, this is an old version, but... I don't know how Drago wants got his to load up. Yeah, this website doesn't work on old operating systems anymore. I don't know why. It just doesn't want to. Let's try to see if I can get Opera to be downloaded on here. Yep, it looks pretty much like the modern site, sort of. Let's see if it'll download. Mm, try again. Seriously. Okay, I guess not. I just have to go to that one other website. What the that's not what I wanted. I wanted up here. Uh, version.com. <laughs> As are its uh, old versions of Windows, Mac, Linux, software, uh, apps, and abandonware games. <laughs> Let's see if I can just get Opera from here. Uh, I need one from at least 2000. Twelve June of two thousand twelve. If this, I wonder what the Windows two thousand crash would be like. Hello. What? Let's just open this another tab. There we go. We're gonna close this one. Download now. Windows 2000. Just gonna click here. Save. Turn it on desktop. A megabyte a second. <laughs> it's already done. Okay, where's the uh, thingy? Should I be more patient? Should I just go back and go to the other versions? Hmm. Oh, there it is. When uh, Opera installer accept and install. Copy. Well, it looks very similar to the uh, oh. Okay, this is a bit broken. I don't know why. Let me just see if this would work. I don't know why it's doing that, but oh well, whatever. Just gonna go here. 
I've got all pro to work, and that one's an interesting browser to have. Let's see if this one loads up YouTube a bit better. Seems like it does. Nope, I might have jinxed that. No. Repo. Let's just see if I'd have to remember to turn that off because this is a old operating system that no one really uses much anymore. Yep, I guess it don't work. This is an old operating system after all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll try to post a video of React OS one of these days soon. And, uh, yeah, it looks similar to this, but it'll be at the same time a bit different. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later. And as Windows 2000 shuts down, peace.